Hi, how are you? I'm John Sheff, uh, head baseball coach here at Virginia Tech. Let me take you on a quick tour of our newly renovated ballpark here, English Field at Union Ballpark. Come on. We'll kind of walk in through the concourse that overlooks the back of home plate. Uh, and give you a pretty good look at everything in our newly renovated ballpark here. If you come kind of follow me this way, give you a little bit of brief history on the ballpark. Um, the baseball program here has been playing at this site since 1989, March of 89, which means this coming spring will be the 30th year anniversary of baseball here. The surface is AstroTurf. Uh, it was put in in 2012 and then the program hosted its first NCAA regional here in 2013. Uh, if you look over to the left, we have a very unique berm, a very unique grass berm seating area that seats up to about, up to about 3,000 people when it's full. And most of the funds of that were raised and paid for when the Yankees came here to play the Hokies in 2008. If you kind of just pan, I guess, left and right, it gives you a pretty good uh, idea of what we're looking at here. Uh, not too many bad bad sight lines in the ballpark. It's, it's very fan friendly uh, and uh, we have a brand new video board out in right field uh, which is, I think kind of brings the fans into the game. New, uh, new music system. Uh, so it's, it's a fan friendly place and it's a place that, that uh, our coaches and players love coming to every day. Let me take you up top and uh, give you a feel for our sweet area up top. Uh, so just follow me. We have a pretty wide open area here for entertainment purposes. Our suite holders can use this area. Uh, during games, it's, a, it's actually also used for other events, prior to football games. We have a lot of donor events up here, season ticket holder events. So it's kind of a nice open, uh, all purpose area, so to speak. When you come into our suite area here, uh, when it was put together, I think it was done very well in that we have all the suites can be sectioned off or they can all be connected. Uh, if you kind of step down this way, you can see from one right to the next that the doors can close off to section them off. Or if the people watching the ball game want to watch it all together, they can open up the doors and it becomes one large suite area. So it's pretty, pretty versatile. You got all kind of the comforts of home here with kitchen areas and, and uh, refrigerators and kind of gives our fans um, an, an opportunity to uh, stay indoors or go out on the patio here if they want to watch the ballpark. Obviously the, the, uh, the seats are pretty good right behind home plates. So you can follow the game really well. Let me take you outside to our patio area here. So if you look from up here, this gives you a little bit of a bird's eye view, so to speak of our ballpark. If you pan right, it's very unique, I think, in that you can watch the game on, uh, from a picnic table area. That'll be a picnic area. A corporate uh, companies will come and use that area. Or you can just have a picnic lunch or dinner with your family. You have tabletops down here to the right. Down below, you have our chair back seats, about 1,500 of those. Up top, you obviously have suite seating up here if you'd like to do that, either out indoors or outdoors. And then obviously around to the grass berm where you can watch the game on, on a blanket or lawn chair if you like. So I just think that this ballpark offers fans a great diversity as far as how you like to watch a ball game. And one of those many different choices to, to watch a, a high level college baseball game in the Atlantic Coast Conference. And then obviously as I mentioned before, the new video board, sound system helps people follow the game and kind of draw them in. If you look down the left field line, the Weaver Baseball Center was put in in 2009. Uh, it's kind of our players home away from home, so to speak. We have our cages, turf cages upstairs with roll, roll up doors, which we'll take you over there. And then down below our clubhouse area, uh, video room, trainer's room. Uh, we'll have a little kitchen up there as well. So it's an area that, that our players will spend an awful lot of their time away from where they live in dorms uh, or off campus housing. Uh, weight training, anything else you're doing on campus, they probably spend more of their time here than they spend any place else on campus. So let me take you over to Weaver and we'll take a look at that.
as, as we walk up above the third base area here uh, in the ballpark, I think it's probably one of the more unique uh, vantage points here at Union Park. If you kind of look out over it, it gives you a pretty good idea of what it looks like from the third base side. If you kind of pan up, we can kind of get a good idea of, of what the what the box seating up top, the suite seating looks like, and then the chair backs down below, and just gives people a pretty good idea of what it looks like from this side of the ballpark. Oh, hey there. Had no idea you guys were coming. Well, thanks to our 24 hour access, let's walk on in. This right here is our home. When we're not breaking a mental sweat, we like to hit. I mean, this, uh, this facility can be used for a variety of different things. Obviously, you can tell it's pretty versatile. Um, retractable nets. Nick, would you mind showing us how the retractable nets work? Yes, sir. Run that on down there, Tiger. And just like that, wham, bam. The whole place is open. You can hit long ways, sideways, diagonal ways, whatever ways you want. Um, when we get some rain out there sometimes, we like to open it up for NDD. Pitchers will do their thing, whatever the pitchers do. Who knows, honestly. Um, yeah, that's pretty much it. Very spacious, brand new nets. You can check out Omaha on the wall here. Obviously the goal every single year. So we like to see that when we're walking in. Let's keep it going. ACC. Big thanks to our sponsors here, Nike and Rawlings. And then, hey, Jack's hitting right now, but Jack, how nice is it to have just mirrors that you can look at yourself into all the time? Absolutely. Absolutely, Jack. All right, let's keep on going. You can look at yourself into oh, it's all the best. time. Absolutely. Shout out our bat rack Absolutely. here. Helmet rack, storage closet on your left. As we keep going into the facility here, another sneak little doorway we got. And Whammy, regional host, 2013. That's what the field used to look like. Obviously a lot of great upgrades that we made. Over here, boom, this is home. If it's important to you, you'll find a way. If not, you'll find an excuse. That's a mantra we like to live by. Build it in Blacksburg, something Coach Chef always talks about. Moving on down the stairs here. Got our cleat rack. Obviously, we don't want to be tracking dirt into the locker room. Moving into the team in here. Oh my gosh, it's a moose. Wow. Do we have animal control in here? Look at this guy. This is Brian Bosworth. Take it away, boss. So this is the team room. Look around. We got 43 stadium seats in here that can be slammed up against the wall or retracted like this. Team spends a decent amount of time out here. We got some kids like Mr. Enright over there just getting some studying in for some upcoming exams. He's a business major. He has one major. Uh, we got Luke Scherzer over there just taking it in. We got the big projector. He's taking in all the sports you can get. Watching basketball, maybe football. Team meets in here a lot to do a lot of different things. Us as a pitching staff, we come in here and we go over skill and technique and different mental methods of how to become a better pitcher. Team comes in here. We do team meetings. We got the bats programs on the computers that the guys use. Bats program is a pretty unique program. It breaks down all statistics with all the games that we play out on the field. So me as a pitcher, I can learn my splits against right-handed batters versus left-handed batters, what batter hits my pitches, how hard, so on and so forth. See four computers here. And you know, we do a lot of different things in here. We do chapel in here. We bring in guest speakers all the time. You know, it's a pretty good room. 
Now we can walk you back over here. And this is kind of a highlight for this. A lot of people take some good pictures here. You can kind of pose up like this, maybe. I don't know. But that's just about it in our team room. Hey, what's up, dude? What's up, Ian? Good to see you. I'm gonna show you around the clubhouse now. So in here, we got 40 lockers for each and every guy on the team. Five TVs, and it's a great spot for us to hang out. You can see some of the guys in here. You can do your homework in here. You can take a nap if you want. The corner seats are the most comfortable, so if you grab that one, you're in luck. If you head over this way, this is where we shower after lift and practice. And there's bathrooms in here, as well as the sinks. We head out this way. You usually walk in that side when you're coming in, and you head out this way when you're going out to the field. And then through here is my favorite spot, probably, in the building. Right here we have the jersey set up and our sponsors, Nike and Rawlings, which hook us up with these travel suits that we got right here, the shoes and the custom gloves that we have. And then we have Hokies in the MLB. And then if you head out through this way, this is the training room. We have our nutrition station if you want a snack before practice. There's energy chews and fuel bars. We got a couple guys getting some care done with Kyle Staggs, our trainer. Um, we got three tables, and we usually have set up times where people will um, come in and get their training done so that everyone stays healthy. There's Kyle's desk. And basically anything you need to keep yourself on the field is in here. And then this is the door that heads you, takes you out to the field. A little cloudy in Blacksburg today, but this is where we come every day to get our work done.